Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to my channel for Heyday Sneak Peek number 2. The update is almost upon us and we've got some new goodies coming within the game. It's earlier than expected, but that's also good. Fingers crossed that everything goes right. Now today's video is all about the mangoes. Yesterday was a little bit different, so I hope you enjoy what I'm going to tell you today. Now first of all, we are getting decoration. Now I love to redesign, I love to decorate, and I love to get decoration. But how are we getting the decoration? Is it going to be easy to get and how much will it cost? That's what I want to know. But the first one is from the postman. So if you help your friends out, you get thank you letters and you get gift certificates. Those gift certificates allow you to actually possibly get some decoration. And I say possibly down there. Next one is from the Will of Fortune. And again, this is another one where you're hoping and if you're lucky, you will get the decoration. In this case, it's a beautiful birdhouse fence. Now, I like this one. It's going to look wonderful with my birdhouse. Another fence that we're getting is the rustic fence, which has that gorgeous heart-shaped design. Now, since these are Will of Fortune decoration, you're not always guaranteed to get them or not even guaranteed to be on the wheels. But if you're lucky enough to be able to see them and you spin and you win, yay, lucky indeed. Now, for me, I want this succulent path. I think of the three decorations from the Will of Fortune, this is the one I want the most. And I'm hoping that will come up in addition to the other ones. Now, the key thing for the update is the mangoes. If you've been on over to Greg's farm, you would have seen these and you'll be thinking like, oh yes, mangoes, what can I make? What can I do? How long do they take? What do they look like? Well, this is what they look like. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful trees. So yeah, I like trees. I can plant lots of those. As they flower and bloom and they start fruiting up, they will look gorgeous indeed. And like with most of the trees within the game, you've got the option to chop them down and push them through the cycle, gaining XP and coins from selling resources, and speeding them up if you want to. But how much does that cost and what level is it? Well, they're available from level 97. Yay! They take 32 hours. That's okay. You get 20 experience points. And if you decide to speed them up, that's 18 diamonds. So that's okay and in some ways. Now, as you've seen, I've just told you about the mangoes and the mango trees. Now, I like mangoes, and with mangoes, you can definitely make a lot of gorgeous products. So, how many products are they going to be giving us? Well, we've already seen one of them. Now, here are two more to make a selection of three. So, that's right, everybody. We are getting mangoes with three new mango-based products. So, we now know the missing ingredient for that dessert from yesterday. Now, the mangoes itself can also be sold individually, and if you wanted to, you can head on over to the town. You've got your grocers there, so of course you're selling fruit, and then there's that beautiful beach hut as well, so you can sit down there, eat some mango, and enjoy the view. Now, new products, new products, new products. I've just told you there's three, so what are those new products? Well, let's go and have a look at those in more detail. Now, first of all, as I said, there are the three products, and if you look at the designs down there, you could probably guess where they're coming from. Well, the first one is from the juice press. That is the mango juice. So, more juices to make. Oh, my goodness me. Not only do I have other ones to make, I've now got to add this to my collection. Holy smoke. Well, it's available from level 97, which is kind of cool, so it's much later within the game. It takes 50 minutes to produce 27 XP, three diamonds to speed it up. So, interesting, interesting. Interesting indeed. Now the next one down there is what we're going to need to make the mango juice. Well, of course, mangoes make mango juice, and you need two mango to make the mango juice. Yay! Nice and simple, nice and easy. So not too challenging. Now again, because I do like to drink juice when I'm gazing at the ocean, I'm going to head on to the town and sell my mango to my beach hut there and I can sit there relax and enjoy. Now product number two is the fondue and this one is a tropical fondue made on the fondue maker so a brand new product added to a brand new machine from previous and that does look so good doesn't it but it's from level 100 yeah it takes 35 minutes oh my god 50 xp three times to speed it up and that looks so delicious indeed I want that one now, what are the ingredients? Well, you need sugar, you need cream, you need pineapples, and you need mangoes. And as you can see, the quantities there is not so bad. But cream is the issue. We're going to need a lot for this update and for the past one, too. Now, again, you can sell this in the town. So one is at the diner and one is at the B&B. &B. Now, if I do decide to stay in the town, I definitely want to have this 
beautiful dish as well. Now, the other dish I introduced yesterday was the tropical yogurt, and that was being made on the brand new machine, the Yogurt Maker, which I will retell you about in this video. And that looks actually scrumptious. Now, you saw there was a lot of ingredients yesterday as well, and you saw some of the information. So let's just recap. Now, this one is from level 109. It takes 60 minutes, so one hour to produce. 54 experience points and four diamonds to speed it up to get that gorgeous item. Now we are going to need the basic yogurt down there. We're going to need the berries, the mangoes, and the passion fruits. So again, you can see the quantity and that missing item. So congratulations to everybody who said it was a mango yesterday. You're right. Now, as I said before, you can also sell this one in the town. And that again is in the beach hut. So I think the beach hut is definitely the place to go, don't you? Sit there, enjoy the beautiful view. Now, the Yogurt Maker is the machine that I introduced in yesterday's video, so I'm going to recap this one now. Now, you can skip towards the end for the next part, but you've already seen the information if you wanted to stop now. Now, the Yogurt Maker is from level 103, and that's going to cost you 1,100,000 gold coins. Holy smoke, that's a lot. Yeah takes 96 hours to build or you can use 80 diamonds to speed it up hmm i think i better make my crops first and make my products as well so that would be better for me now there are three new products we've just seen one of them because it uses mangoes and you've got two more down there and i do like those so start making your strawberry jam please and your creams and your milks now, the plain yogurt was the one that you needed for the dessert that we just looked at with the mangoes. And I must admit, I do like a nice yogurt. Uh, Sainsbury's was a great place to go to in the past in the UK to get different kinds of yogurts. Now, this one here is in the game from level 103. It takes 120 minutes, basically two hours, 28 XP and five diamonds to speed it up. And this is the horrible part. Oh my goodness me, milk and cream. Oh my goodness me, we need another dairy. Please, heyday, can we have another dairy? And more cows, and more pigs, and more sheep, etc, etc, etc. Now, plain yogurt can be sold in the town as well, and that one's in the grocery store. I like the grocery store. My grocery store near my home is very nice indeed, so I better go and get my dinner later. Next one is the strawberry yogurt. Now, the strawberry yogurt, I, I love strawberries personally i prefer different berries in my yogurt but strawberries is good as well now strawberry yogurt as i said yesterday is available from level 105 it takes 40 minutes you can get that 63 xp from it and you can spend three diamonds if you wanted to speed it up personally i'm just going to let it make and then get it late later now, strawberry jam, oh no, oh no, so start making the strawberries, as I said, and start making the jam, and then start making the other items when you can as well. Once you've got it, then you've got your strawberry yogurt, and you can go to the town, and you can sell that strawberry yogurt in the town, which is good. Right, that's all of the products and all of the new trees and information. There's not much in this update, it's a small one. The key thing is the birthday, and we've had capsule number one. Capsule number one came today in the game, and I'm very happy I told you about the mine yesterday, so go and watch the videos because it's pretty cool. Now, throughout the heyday birthday, we're going to be looking back through the history, and there'll be a lot of things coming to you within the game. I know all of them, or majority of them, plus a special one as well, and I'll tell you those a little bit later. But the first one we've got was 50 diamonds. So Alfred delivered that to your farm today. I've got them all of my farms and they look wonderful. So make sure you collect that little package from in front of your house. Now remember, I'm not the only content creator. There's all of these guys out there as well. And there's also a brand new one, which I need to get the code for as well, which I will add to later once I've got it from her. But go check their videos. For myself, please do send me a birthday card. As I said, it's my 50th birthday this year. It's a special one for me as well. I live in Japan, so send me a postcard, birthday card or letter so we can celebrate together. Yay! Now... This is a playlist, watch my videos. That's the subscription button, subscribe to my channel. If you don't, I'll be very sad. But either way, I will see you in my next video tomorrow. Bye now, and enjoy the update when it comes. See ya.